I was just doing some reading on the website, um, jw.org. I just had a quick question uh -huh. about something I read on there. Okay. Um, well, it's about that house that was in San Diego, Beth Sareem. Did you ever hear about that? Uh -uh. No. Oh, okay. Well, um, what it was was um, their uh, leader who wrote all the books, all the spiritual food at that time, Rutherford. Um, he, d during his time, they had this house built in San Diego, California, and he was teaching um, that um, the patriarchs like Abraham and David and stuff from the Old Testament uh, were going to come live there. So he, he made that house for him. Oh. But it's not. It's not accurate. Well, um, on on Wikipedia, um, it tells all about that. It gives all the references where you can read about it in the publications of that time. And, um, you know, in their history book, I had a question about that, too. Uh, it does not clearly explain that. Like, all they said was he he it, it was built there for his health and stuff. Uh, they don't. Well, if I, if I were you, I would check the website. If you're going to get information on Jehovah's Witnesses, um, you want to get it from the source because some of this stuff is, you know, completely made up. Oh uh, no, no, I, that's that. I, that's not how research is done. Um, serious research is done in the original sources, where, you know, the original sources from the organization at that time, not not how they spin it now, you know. So I, you know, I've. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I looked on there, and uh, it's very vague and unclear. It talks about his health, and uh, they have a little footnote that says, well, you know, they thought they these guys were going to be resurrected, but now we decided it won't be till later, you know. But it was the, – the original sources are very specific about this. Um, you know, in 1918, he started preaching all around the world and in the publications – that um, the princes of the Old Testament will be resurrected in 1925. Well, you know, as, as the Proverbs tells us, that as we get closer and closer to the end, the light gets brighter and brighter. So there were some misunderstandings in the beginning of the organization. But um, as a whole, if you research the organization today, you'll see that uh, we're a worldwide organization where people have all submitted to whatever the Bible standards are, so we live by the Bible standards. Back in the early 1900s, they had some misconceptions, and when they had a misconception, they redirected their thinking. Well, they had to, because those all the dates they well, taught sure. were, were, went by. And um, I, I disagree with you completely, because in Deuteronomy 18, 20 through 22, it gives the test for a false prophet, and that would be, you know, someone who's, it defines it even, it says someone who says they're speaking for Jehovah, and um, these people, and, and all through the history, they claimed they were the only truth and the only channel, and they spoke for God. You know, Rutherford said, 1925 was much more clearly marked in scripture than 1914. Well, you can believe what you want, but I still suggest that you search the website and you'll see that uh, we are a, a global organization that uh, has a unity that nobody else can enjoy. And when we make a mistake, we're willing to make a correction. Yeah, that's, that's, which, Jesus, which is not true with most religions. Too. Jesus warned Even about false, false prophets. You know, Are you allowed to read Wikipedia? I can read anything I want. Yeah. Oh. But right now I got a meeting. In oh, okay. Minutes, so well, I it's under it's talk. under the um, title. This article is under the title Beth, B E T H Sareem S A R I M. Two words. So it's pretty interesting. So hey, thanks for talking to me about this. Yeah, but just keep an open mind because uh, you too. As we get closer and closer to the end. It'll be very important that we. The Watchtower doesn't believe in open mind or independent thinking. They've said so. That's so not, okay, uh, yeah, they did say that. Thank you. God bless you. Dot org. And I just had a question about one of them. I was wondering if you had a minute. Sure. Okay. Well, it's really an interesting book. Um, it's called Proclaimers of God's Kingdom. Did you ever hear that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was um, interested in the topic of um, Judge Rutherford 
and um, the house Beth Serene. Have you ever heard of that? In I San Diego? What? So actually, what is your question? So I can write it down and then, then I will call you back. Oh, okay. Well, um, in the Proclaimers of God's Kingdom, it said, for, well, had you ever heard of that, that place, Beth Serene in San Diego? I just didn't hear what you said. Oh. Um, and then I'm happy to look it up. Oh, so you know, you didn't hear about it? Okay. Well, um, well, it says here in this book that Brother Rutherford had a severe case of a, a pneumonia after his release from prison. Um, therefore, he had only one good lung. And then it it goes on to explain that a doctor told him to be in California or, I guess, a warm climate as much as possible. And so they had a um, – it they had this house built, Beth Serene, this big, kind of a big fancy house for that time. Um, and that's all it says. Um, but when I looked it up on Wikipedia, it tells a whole different thing. Um, that th this is what it says here. Uh, in 1918, Watchtower Publications began predicting, under the direction of Rutherford, that Old Testament patriarchs would be resurrected back to earthly life in 1925. Um, and they would, um, were going to, he believed they were going to come to San Diego, California. So, um, he dedicated to the use of those, um, princes that were from the old Testament that were going to be resurrected and be staying there. And <laughs> um, the, um, so I really don't know what your question is. Um, I can tell you that in the Bible, um, in Proverbs, don't have it, um, Proverbs 4.18, it says that the path of the righteous is like a bright light that grows brighter and brighter until full daylight. And God's word does not change, but our understanding of it changes. So well, I, I, what I'm, what I, my question is to kind of clarify, I'm not sure what, um, how that is relating, but my question is why does the, this supposed history book uh, leave out so much? <laughs> because here, and I, I think they're correct. They give references here from the literature. Uh, you know, and it, it also says in 1918, as I said, he was predicting 1925. But then even after that, he, he then focused on the house, uh, that that would be, was there. And uh, they that's where they were going to come, San Diego, California. So, um, you know, uh, it seems like the their book is very misleading, right? Well, uh, at that time, that that's the light they have. No, I'm but talking about the facts of the no, no, no. A his, just a second. A history book is just telling of their history. I, I don't. Uh -huh. I, I'm not talking about what they currently teach or if they were wrong. Undoubtedly, they have been wrong. You know, most of their history. But um, just why does their book present it in such an incomplete way? It's very misleading. And you know, I'm asking which is the Wikipedia article more uh, factual? Um, I have not read the, that article. Oh, okay. But I know. So um, I can take your contact information. I can have someone give you a call. I could do research. I just need to know what your question yeah, is. Yeah, my question is why does the Proclaimers book, which is uh, portrays itself as a history book, why is that so misleading? And they don't really talk about why that was built and what he was teaching about it. They just say he went there for his health. Um, and Wikipedia gives uh, references from the literature that it had to do with his um, predictions. Okay. Do you want me to write your phone number down and have oh, someone give you a call? I don't think so. But if you want to see the article, are you allowed to read Wikipedia? 
Um, I I do research, uh-huh. so I have read Wikipedia, uh-huh. but I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in right now uh-huh. is really researching the Bible and applying it in my day to day life. I understand that there were wrong ideas in the past about fulfillment of Bible prophecy, but a lot of times Bible prophecy is only understood after it's been fulfilled. And so I'm not concerned about the changes. Uh, oh, okay. Even if they say, made, even when they say they're, it, hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if they say it was from Jehovah, I mean, Rutherford said that the, the 1925 is much more clearly marked in scripture than 1914. So, you know, I, I'm, that's not relevant to <laughs> really? how I'm trying to live my life today. Oh. People are wrong. People make mistakes. They're not just people. people. They claim to, they're not just people. They claim to speak for Jehovah and that they're the only channel on this earth of truth. And they claimed that at that time also, you know, one of your books says that the origins of things are important. Like something might have false origins or pagan origins does that only apply to other groups for them you know that that you're right uh-huh. but then second timothy three sixteen says all scripture is from god so that's uh, where we go right. back to we go back to the bible yeah. and that's how i decide to live my life but if you have any questions i'm happy to right. write your number down and give you a call but we're about to meet okay right well it's just it's so, it's very they don't really tell the whole story and if it's okay to make all those mistakes even though you're claiming to speak for god why don't they just tell the whole story about it that rutherford was teaching around the world uh you know the the beginning of paradise and all that was going to be in 1925 and then he started focusing on this house and saying they were going to come to San Diego. He even planted. But even Jesus said that no one knows the day and hour. Right? Why didn't he know that? Uh, he was he was the God's father. he was God's only channel on on earth. He, his writings were called uh, "Meet in Due Season" from Jehovah. So it's a very simple thing. And as a matter of fact, mainstream Christian theologians were bringing up that scripture to the men, to the many predictions of the Watchtower throughout the years and they they still have a prediction called the overlapping generation uh which must have an end point so that that's also a prediction but anyway hey thanks for thanks for talking to me about this i appreciate it yeah yeah okay i appreciate all your research into this information you have a fantastic okay. day okay god bless you